Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from a viewer. His name is John. The subject is math for day trading. The message reads, hi, I just started watching your channel and was wondering how to use math for day trading, but also to help with psychology and emotional control while trading. Many say statistics and probability, but that's like saying learn karate for self-defense. Why not kickboxing or lift weights? And how would you use them? I hope I explain myself. I look forward to your reply. Thank you, John. John, I have a lot to say about this. But before I say it, since this is like a finance question, I always see this in other videos regarding finance. <laughs> I'm not a professional, so don't take my advice. But here's my advice. So psychology and emotional control while trading. So I personally believe that you can use math to help control that. And here is a very simple example. So say you want to buy something because you think it's going to go up. Uh, and say you decide to make that purchase. In my point of view, you should not buy that if you're trading. In my point of view, you should not buy it unless you have an exit strategy in case it goes against you, like in case it goes down. And so what I mean by that is if you buy it at 50, um, maybe you're going to get out if it goes down to 45. You might say, why would you do that? Why would I plan to lose money? Well, if you're thinking about trading, the goal is to buy it and then sell it if it goes up or short it if you're going short. But let's just pretend for the sake of simplicity that you're buying a stock and you want it to go up. So say you buy it at 50. What you need to do is you need to have an exit plan before you enter the trade, right? That's really important. Um, one common thing that people do is they'll buy a bunch of trading books, they'll read them, they'll do a bunch of like simulated trading, they'll open an account somewhere and once their, their real money is on the line, they get nervous and they make mistakes. Don't make a trade until you have a plan. And by controlling how much money you can lose, um, that will control your emotions because you tell yourself, well, the most I can lose is 50 bucks, then it's going to be okay. Now, the market is not open 24 hours a day, right? So it opens at a certain time and it closes at a certain time. So markets do gap. And if you're trading individual stocks, just know that that can happen. So say you buy a stock at $50 and you set a stop at 45, the next day it can open at 20. Very unusual, but it could happen. So that's one of the things that happens with stocks. Um, not likely to happen if you're trading like funds and stuff like that, because um, like if you're trading like just like the market, like the S&P 500 or something like that, that's not, probably not going to gap down 50% in one day. I don't, I don't think it's ever done that, but there's always risk and you can really help manage your risk by having a plan and setting stops uh, on all your trades. And if you Google it, you'll see that. But how exactly you set your stop and when you enter and when you exit the trade, that is trading. And my advice would be to get a book. And I think the best book out there in the world on trading is this one. This one's by John J. Murphy. Um, he wrote uh, another book before this one on the futures markets, which I also have and is a great book. And then he revised it. And this one's for the stock market. And um, it's a fun book, and the one on the futures market is also fun because it was made in the 80s, and they talk about computerized trading, and so it hints at using math and stuff. Um, so that's my advice. My advice would be to use math to control your money, right? Money management is super important. So if you have money management and you go into every trade with a plan, then it's all about making the right buying decisions and the right selling decisions in order to, to maximize profit. Um, you can use probability. The idea is that if your trading plan has a positive expected value, that in the long run you'll make money. But it's really, really hard to quantify those things because markets are random. Uh, you know, there's lots of really smart people in the world where that's all they do, right? I think they're called quants. That's all they do is use math to try to, uh, you know, trade markets. But I think I think keeping it simple is better. And I think, in my opinion, trend following is better. And I think a book like this uh, is really good. Uh, I would pay special attention to the chapters on money management if you buy this book. Um, that's really important. Um, some people think money management is all it's about. 
it's not right it's not it's also you know when you enter and when you exit but um, if you have a money management plan um, you can make money something else that's going to limit how much money you can realistically make by the way is how much money you have uh, you'll find that when you read a book like this it'll give you some pretty conservative estimates and it's for a reason right sometimes trades go against you over and over and over again as one of my friends used to say live to trade another day right so I hope my response has been helpful if anyone has any other advice uh, on, on day trading um, leave a comment in, in the comment section below uh, one thing I want to mention another thing about day trading is that you know it does require you know focus you know day trading means that you're probably going to be buying and selling in the same day so you know you're going to be uh, in front of the computer looking for that trade and you know you have to find trades every day if you want to make a trade every day you have a couple markets you're going to follow you wake up in the morning you you look for those entry points sometimes you miss them but the point is in order to control that emotion um, you need to have a plan um, so this book is not about day trading by the way this book is, is mainly about you know swing trading so uh, in fact the author recommends don't even don't even plan your trades um, when the market is open you know plan your trades when the market is closed and then have an idea when you're willing to get in and then you know obviously when the market is open you look at um, shorter time frames the hourly the the 30 minute the 50 minute the five minute the one minute but you start with the longer term charts and that's what this book really uh, teaches you so great book um, I think this is a book they use uh, to become I think a certified market technician or something so people people study this book there's a study guide <laughs> for this book so it's like it's like a science right so and, and John J Murphy he's a really good writer it's one of those really fun books I recommend getting that and I hope my answer um, has been helpful to you.